This woman actually became friends with her husband's lover. This Valentine's Day, the friend unexpectedly came to see her. Honey, what's wrong? April is in my driveway. Shit! No choice. Beth had to ask the neighbor to pretend to be Mrs. Robert and then kicked April out. April said she didn't mean to intrude, but just the other day, Robert may have left his coat in the restaurant. She wanted to come over to confirm. After sending April away, the neighbor couldn't help but lament. Gotta say, I'm impressed that tramp, she ain't going down without a fight. Well, this tramp isn't either. Beth hurriedly approached April as a friend, intending to introduce her to a good lover. At this point, I'm pregnant. The news did scare Beth, because Robert had always wanted a child, and they hadn't been able to have a new one since the unexpected death of their daughter Emily. Beth was afraid that this child would be the reason for Robert to leave her. She had to take action on Robert's side as well. In the evening, she made a nice dinner and dressed up. She was ready to confront Robert and force him to make a choice. She told Robert that she had something to tell him. Once I tell you, everything is going to be different. Oh my god. Are you sick? Yes. I'm sick. I have cancer. Beth had cancer, and she wanted her husband to value his family for it. I was wondering if there was a cancer you could recommend. Recommend? Beth consulted a doctor to get herself diagnosed with a rare cancer that is both serious but has a chance of being cured. Epithelioid hemangioendothelioma. Say that again. I'd rather not. Beth spoke to her husband about the cancer in detail. She said she probably only had six months left. After this day, Robert said that the big project he was busy with some time ago was coming to an end and that from now on he would leave more time for his family. Beth knew that this decision meant that Robert was ready to disconnect from his lover. She offered to host a party at home with the neighbors. The woman wore heavy clothes in the summer. When Beth took her treats Beth saw the bruises on the woman's hands. This completely confirmed Beth's suspicions. A few days earlier, she had gone to invite her neighbor Mary to her party. But Mary was still wearing thick, long-sleeved clothes and heavy makeup at home. Mary! When her grumpy husband saw someone, he immediately changed his attitude and agreed to come to Bessie's party. On the day of the party, Robert also put aside his heavy workload, relaxed and started dancing to his heart's content. He also invited Mary to dance with him, but Mary immediately refused. But Robert still insisted that she enjoy the party at the moment. Okay, just for a minute. Yeah, now you're talking. Mary finally let go of her inhibitions and showed a genuine smile. Beth was very happy to see it. But Mary's husband was very angry when he saw the scene. Come on. We only did. I said come on! Robert tried to explain but was interrupted by the man. You can cheat on your wife all you want. But you're not touching mine. After saying that the man dragged Mary away, Beth was uneasy and followed them to the study. The man went to Mary's side and gave her comfort by holding her back with his hand. I've just set out some angel food cake in the dining room. Why don't you go have a slice? No, thank you. We're going home. Beth wanted to leave Mary behind so her husband could calm down first, but apparently she didn't dare to do so. It must be a wonderful thing to be strong like you. Beth blames Robert, expressing her displeasure at the cowardly way he just behaved. He hurt her. Right in front of you. He's not the perfect husband. It's not my job to judge him. Would you like the neighbors coming in here and judging you for not being the perfect mother? Huh? Ah, Robert's words hurt Beth. Our daughter died because of me. A few years ago, Beth had forgotten to close the backyard gate when her daughter, who was playing, ran out into the street and had a car accident. When she arrived, her daughter was already dead. This incident became Beth's most painful memories, and the wound in her heart could never be healed. At this point, a long time no news from Robert's April could not bear it. That day, she rushed into the office and told Robert the fact that she was pregnant. In the evening, Beth received a call from April. April said that she had told Robert that she was pregnant. He got down on one knee and asked me if I would marry him. Beth asks what about his family. 
What about his wife? He told me that his marriage is ending. He said he just needs six months. Six months. When she heard this, Beth realized that she was going to be out for good. The next day, she packed her bags and went to Robert's office. She planned to say goodbye to him. That's when she learned another, bigger secret from his secretary. The woman walked into the gun store just moments before she learned that her husband had not only cheated on her, but had hidden a bigger secret from her. Rob's been cheating on you for years, and I was one of them. That Robert and his secretary were at home the day their daughter had her accident. He noticed that Beth had come home early, so he immediately told the secretary to slip out of the backyard. It turned out that it wasn't Beth who forgot to close the door that year. The door was opened by the secretary, which also indirectly led to the death of her daughter. I have one question. Did Rob know you had not closed the gate? Then he said he could forgive me if I never told anyone else what had happened. After learning everything, Beth also made up her mind that what she wanted at this moment was not only a clean life, but also to let Robert get his comeuppance. She first went to buy a gun then. I bought a gun yesterday. What? There have been robberies in the neighborhood. Anyway, I don't feel safe, so I got this gun. And I'm storing it here. And I've already put in the bullets. This is a nice street. Nothing bad is going to happen to us. You never know. She found the neighbor who was domestic violence. I've come up with a plan on how to kill her husband. Two detailed plans after ready to take action tonight. In the evening, wait until Robert came home. Best intention did not cook dinner, but also let him drink a few glasses of wine. She gave Robert one last chance. She asked him if he had something to hide the day his daughter died. No. Thank you. For what? You've made this all so much easier. Then she signaled to Mary with a switch to get her started. Mary left a letter for her husband. I've met someone else. A man who makes me happy. So I'm leaving you for Rob Stanton. He loves me in a way you never could. The man read the letter and got very angry. He pulls a gun out of his nightstand and runs to his target. He found Robert and pulled out his gun and tried to kill him. The two men instantly fought together. At that moment, Bess rushed into the kitchen. She took out the gun she had prepared and threw it at Robert. The gun, surprisingly unloaded, was the one Beth had prepared just for him. The angry man finally knocked Robert to the ground. Beth waited for everything to be safe and whispered in Robert's ear before he died. Beth and Mary were both eventually free from their husband's control and April gave birth to the baby, which she raised with Beth.